Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Virgos. And this is going to be from the 19th through the 25th of March. I will be using my Witch's Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using Learning Tarot cards. So Virgo, this is going to be for you. So Virgo, this is going to be for you. Page of Pentacles. You're doing some manifesting, huh? Take your time to focus. You never know what can happen. The Magician. You're very magical right now. The Queen of Wands. This is a fire energy within your environment. This could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. The Eight of Wands. Something is coming very fast. Maybe the things you're manifesting. The Ten of Cups. Happy Family. The sun, this is a very good card, very positive, happiness, joy, growth, personal growth. The five of cups, but for some reason you feel a little empty inside. The two of pentacles, you're a little off balance. And the Four of Swords. You're very tired and you need to relax. You need to rest. You need to find some time for yourself, okay? That could be why you feel emotional. <clears throat> emotional and unbalanced. The Page of Pentacles could also be you, Virgo. Benny. Benjamin, what you doing? On top of the Page of Pentacles comes the Three of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe you're just manifesting, Queen of Pentacles. You're about to have a celebration. Queen of Pentacles, that's you, Virgo. The money manager. You know how to handle the money. Your manifestations are magical. As above, so below. You have the King of Swords which is an air energy. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or maybe you're thinking, or maybe you have, you communicated to somebody something. Um, this is you making, um, you're feeling stuck. You can't make a decision. You feel like you're, you're confined, like you just can't. Can't, um... Make a decision, you're like on the fence, they're waiting. So on top of the Queen of Pentacles comes the seven, I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles and the Star card. Some financial success, financial stability, 
reaping your rewards and the star card beautiful omen stay hopeful it's a beautiful card there so something is coming very fast and it's going to give you a little extra responsibility and you're going to feel a temporary financial loss or you, it's really a mindset of lack you're going to feel like you don't have but it's temporary i don't want you to believe that it's just going to be lasting for a long time it's not okay you're going to have some extra responsibility and with that responsibility you're going to feel lack you're going to feel like you have you don't have financially don't worry about money okay do not do that worries bring more worries the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, stability. This could be someone in your environment who's older. They are financially stable. Um, they do have their own. Um, somebody that probably helps you. He's like a father figure in your life. And I do see you might be having some kind of conflict with him. The Empress says, I am my own authority. I have the will and the power to create my life's structure. So you might be having some kind of disagreement with this Emperor. And then comes the Star card, which is a very beautiful card. It's a good omen, you know, just like the Star card over there. The Sun card is just as beautiful. And the Magician came on top of it. And the Wheel of Fortune, darling, I'm telling you, some darlings. I'm telling you, you got some beautiful things in store for you. You're magical. You're magical. And you're making a lot of progress. You got good karma around you right now. Good karma. Good karma. And the Five of Cups. The Ace of Swords. And the Queen of Swords. The Ace of Swords, you're going to have new ideas and new plans. And you're going to be able to see things clearly, okay? And then there is a Queen of Swords somewhere maybe in your environment here. It's a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, which is there's the masculine up here, the feminine here. There are no male or female, but the masculines are the doers and the feminine are the thinkers. Maybe you, you already communicated with someone. Maybe you're thinking about communicating with someone if there's not an actual air energy in your environment. But this person, um, the communication, you'll have communication with this person. I guess you're going to tell the person how you feel emotionally. Somebody maybe that you talk to, maybe a friend, I'm not sure. But I guess they're going to help you get clarity. Two of Pentacles. You're above your um, challenges, so stand your ground and keep doing what you're doing, all right? Just be patient. Uh, something from the past is coming back. Whatever is going on in the past is coming back. You're above your challenges, but you're tired. You've been doing too much. You need to ask for some help. You need to take a break. And I do see the um, Ten of Pentacles, and this is an un... un expected financial windfall lump sum deed trust funds inheritance could be something and it's the world card that came on top of that um something came to a successful end or um there was something that came to completion um or you might be going on you might be traveling soon but You'll find a sense of um, belonging. And I do see like the Ten of Pentacles, happy family, or being able to take care of your family also, all right? So it's not necessarily doom and gloom, but you're going to have enough. Something is going to happen. Maybe somebody from the past is going to help you um, and give you, help you unexpectedly and you'll come into some money. Something is going to happen though. I love you guys. You take care of yourself and I will chat with you soon. Love you. Bye.